Well, okay, let's see. Helmet, GoPro, riding gear. Ah, uh, what am I forgetting? Hey guys, it is Robin, the lady biker. How is everyone doing today? Oh, okay, I am out today. Actually, I'm out with my husband. There he is behind me. Hello. <laughs> and we are heading down towards Highway 1 between Ventura and Malibu, California. And just wanted to come to y'all today and talk about, well, first off, anytime we ride, especially in a weekend like this, it's almost never less than 100 miles. It's almost 200, 250. Whenever we get out to ride, especially when we're able to ride together like this, we tend to go for at least half-day trips because, well, let's face it, we love our bikes. So as we were riding along, or getting ready and riding along, we were talking about all how we have this ritual as we get started, as we're heading out for a trip. And I was going to share with you ours and the things that we pack and then get some feedback from y'all about what do you get, what do you do, how do you prepare, especially for those of you that ride bikes that don't have bags, what do you do? Okay, let's see. We want to go south. And I hope I'm not missing it. No, that's north. Okay, yeah, th we don't come this way very often, so I'm having to kind of... Figure out where the heck we are. Here it is. Let's go ahead and make this turn onto Highway 1. There we go. Okay. So, well, you know, okay, we all have our rituals whenever we're getting ready to ride, right? So, you know, we all have to do the safety checks or T-clocks, you know, check our tires, check our fluids, make sure that the bike is in generally good running condition before we head out because, hey, it's always worth it. Let me move my camera there. It's always worth it to take a few minutes to prepare than to get out on the road and have a problem. So, you know, you got to do your safety checks. Um... But then it's also, what do you take with you whenever you make these, you know, at least a hundred mile trip? And so for us, we have tools that we bring and we have those that we do for just, you know, like we're going to be gone for a day. We're going to be close to some cities that we always have our basic stuff. You know, your zip ties, you got to have a couple of screwdrivers, those kinds of things. So we have our tools. But then we also have our stuff that we always bring with us, like always I always pack water and some kind of snack oh we're gonna be coming up on the ocean here in just a second um, I always pack water and a snack because what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be riding in the hills here once we get closer to Malibu and it's beautiful up that way you have we're gonna be stopping first at Neptune's net to maybe grab a snack or something and then up by the rock store and there's just so many different things. Should be seeing quite a few runs of bikes like that from racing bikes. I mean, it's fun. Anyway, back to topic, food and water. We always take that because when you get up into some of these back roads and you take a break, there's not always a restaurant or a convenience store nearby. And, you know, it's good to have it with you. Oh gosh, what else? Oh, I always bring an extra, like an extra sweatshirt or an extra layer of clothes because we're riding here along the coast right now. And in fact, once we turn around this bend, we'll be able to see the ocean. But whenever you're riding on the coast, it gets really, really cool. You go up into the hills and get even a mile away from the water and it can the temperature can go up 15, 20 degrees. So layers are critical whenever we're riding out here. And of course, oh, check that out, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, there's a reason why we ride Highway 1 as often as we can. Anyway, 
Um, layers. Layers are always good. Now, at the time of filming this, we are still in the middle of COVID, and California is still in a pretty significant lockdown. Our governor just lifted a handful of very small restrictions, but still we're in a big lockdown. So, you know, you always have to remember a mask. Pain in the butt, I'll be glad whenever that is gone. Uh, but that's also, you know, the masks, we also carry some gloves just to make sure that if we're stopping and, you know, it's a gas station that's kind of sketchy, sometimes having gloves is not a bad idea. Oh, what else? What else? What else? Well, honey, what are some of the things that you always make sure you toss in your saddlebag? Tire gauge. Oh, yeah. I guess that goes along with our tools, but I, it's always, it's never a bad thing to have more than one of those. And, um, oh, and I know he keeps in his, we have an attachment on our tires. I'll put it down in the description with a link to it for those who are interested, but it's like um, an adapter because sometimes whenever you're having to stop to fill up at a gas, you know, a service station, trying to get to the, uh, why am I blanking on that little peg that you put valve me. stem valve stem thank you <laughs> getting to the valve stem is not always easy so anyway guys those are some of the things that i always toss in with my oh and a hat because even though helmet hair is the best hair sometimes it's just you need to cover that you just got to put it on so a hat's another one too now those are the things we're doing those short day trips when we make longer trips, we take more tools and, of course, all of our, our luggage and such. But, guys, what about y'all? For, the, you know, those of you who, because I know some of you on here, whenever you ride, you stay local. You don't usually go too very far from home, and that's always a fun way to ride. But if you ride longer stretches, what do you do? And, uh, you know, what all do you take with you? And for those of you who are don't ride a bagger like I do, how do you carry the things that you that you need and want with you? Or are you one of those people that just, you know, throws your wallet in your back pocket or in a bag and off you go? So drop down in the comments. Let me know. Share with me your thoughts. And uh, guys, see if I can give y'all just a little bit right here as we say goodbye. Show you some just some gorgeous views here along Highway One. And if you can, guys, get out and ride. Have fun, be safe, and I'm going to catch you on the next video. <laughs> Bye.